I'm Tom Brown, I'm the chef owner of Cornerstone in Hackneywick. And while I was looking for the site for the restaurant, East London was always my preferred destination. I really like the community, it feels a lot more sort of friendly and the neighbours are much more welcoming. It felt like this area really wanted something of another level of restaurant. The rent is a lot more affordable. I think like any chef, I've, I've probably been thinking about how this restaurant was going to look for about sort of 15 years, to be honest. I was very fortunate to have a lot of really good people around me. The main person who gave me the most guidance was Nathan Outlaw. He put me in touch with a lot of people that knew things. Um, also the landlord who wanted to make sure this was a business that was sustainable and that, that could work. To fit a restaurant out from a shell, which this was, is a lot of money. So now we do that on asset finance. You need an oven, obviously. You need a stove, you need a fryer, a grill. On top of that, you've got your luxury items. The way you work it out of what is essential and what's not essential is by starting with a menu. What can we afford and what do we really, really need? Yeah. Fridges, pots and pans, all those things are definitely on the essentials. The fridges thing is a good one, actually, because we don't have any space to hold any stock, really, so everything comes in fresh. The sort of minimalist look inside is partly to do with budget, and it, but it is partly to do with the area. The artwork on the walls is all donated by local artists and local photographers. There was a lot of people in the industry that were sort of very kind and wanted to help. One guy that, that helped us out a lot was um, Andrew Wong. Um, he was doing a refurb. What we saved on chairs is probably two, three thousand pounds. In terms of crockery, I know chefs can be really, like you say, precious about it. For me, it's just a plate. Everything sort of fits on different plates and, and they are a little bit mix and match. The oyster dish that we do, it's actually one of the dishes that's been on since day one. Beautiful oysters from Cornwall. We serve them in the shells. It's just a plain sort of off-white, just quite clean plate and serve them on a bit of salt. The Gurna dish that we do, the inspiration behind it I suppose comes from a, like a white gazpacho. You know, lots of different flavours and contrasts and it's, it's very interesting but also quite, quite clean again. The cutlery was one that again um, was donated by a, a friend who was closing down the restaurant so that was another one that helped us out a lot on budget. In terms of glassware, to be honest, it's, it, we kind of just keep it very, very simple, very classic. The wine do the talking really, we just keep it very clean and simple. So in terms of buying equipment, everything that we bought was uh, cross-referenced against different places. A lot of the larger equipment was all done through asset finance, so um, a lot of it we just clubbed together because if we'd have had to pay for it outright, a lot of the equipment, we wouldn't have been able to afford it. Everything we, we bought though, we do, we do cross-reference cross it against various companies and make sure that we are getting a competitive price. To be honest, the aspiration that we want is a full restaurant that happy customers.